So I... Oh, uh, wait, wait. Oh, no. No. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, it's only two. That's not... Considering how many hearts we have now, two hearts of fall damage is nothing. And I think the blue... I can't tell if the blue fire is full heal or not. We haven't really given it a good try. Hop. And what's with these blank ones? Should I just try every emo? Well, didn't work. I wonder if we get something to see what they are or some bullshit like that. Okay, well, we're pretty much done here then. Uh, I guess the only place we need to go check out is over there. Oh, which, if I had looked at this for more than half a fucking second, would have realized we can't do anything here. So, we'll have to come back anyway. Does it control like I had in time? Hell, maybe it was a big inspiration for the game, especially if they're making some references to it. I want to say this was made by a small team, but I don't remember. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I was trying to trying to speed it up. <sighs> okay, where the fuck are we here? Whoop, there we go. So we can take one more fall in either capacity, either fall damage or just uh Falling into pit. Into green goo. And then we should probably heal. I will say the game, despite having a lot of combat stuff in it, like uh, capabilities, the game is definitely really focused on uh, jumping puzzles and just platforming in general. Ancient relic, an ancient royal scroll. Okay, what's that do? I can I can drop it. That doesn't seem like a good use. Okay, that's a bunch of bullshit down there. I like the grass. Like this area is visually appealing to me. Other than you know, other than the the goop. Stone Heart City. Fair enough. So what's this way then? Ah, eh, fuck it. Oh yeah, that's just some horrible goop down there, huh? There's a thing right there, but I think there's a better way to jump to it. Oh, hey, it's a binocular thing again. Is that a hint to... I guess that's a hint for the future. Oh, hey, a door that's almost appropriately sized for us. Oh. Ari, the crafter. Good evening, young one. I've been waiting for you. They refer to me as Ari the crafter, but you may simply call me Ari. For centuries, my family has dedicated itself to the art of making tunics and swords, Link. Mm. The needle of fate has spoken to me. Quite some time ago, it foresaw our, our encounter. Mm. I don't quite know who you are, nor am I aware of your role in this land, or what my part in your journey is. But it is the will of the needle that I assist you. Mm. How can I help you? Oh, all right, uh, what, what, what's going on, buddy? Young swordsman, the story I will relay is the tale of the five temple. All right, a long time ago, there were five gods. These gods gave birth to Penumbra. They created hope for the living. In return for such deed, the people of Penumbra built great temples to honor the gods. Five temples for five gods. At peace, the gods embraced their temples, and the temples became their deathbed. 
who the gods were to rest eternally. Thousands of years passed, and eventually the balance between light and shadow has always dictated. Their rest was interrupted. Much worse than that, in fact. I feel like there's a couple words missing sometimes when I'm reading this. You see, before their eternal slumber, the gods had given birth to a queen. This powerful queen ruled the land. Blessed with the powers of the gods, she kept Penumbra safe and hidden. Hidden from the shadow. But the black shadow was persistent. It didn't rest. And eventually, it found the castle. The castle was soon overpowered. And the queen was possessed by the shadow. Driven by darkness, she called her most loyal lords. The lords responded to her call. Each of them was tasked to lead an attack. To enter one of the five temples and slay its god in its sleep. Mm -hmm. The people of Stoneheart prayed to the gods. But the gods never appeared. What was of them, no one knows. What was of them? What happened to them? Uh, Swordsman, it was my task to tell you this tale. The needle is never wrong, uh, ever. However, it is up to you to discover why. May the queen be with you. Uh, All right, let's shop. Oh, okay, um, cosmetics. Um, oh my god, that's not just a rainbow. It's a constantly changing rainbow. That's pretty cool looking. Blue, violet, gray. The green's pretty good. The red's all, the red blue is also really good. The orange would let me see myself a little easier. Mm, as much as I want to do this, no. Cancel. Didn't he say something about swords? I swear he said something about swords, or am I fucking nuts? Hmm. It looks like he is only a fabric guy, but I swear he said something more than cloaks. Fashion. Yeah, this is... Oh god, another one? These things are fucking everywhere. At least the music's quaint. Hmm. Well, I can jump to the middle, I guess. Yeah, a little bit, right, Frosty? But those, at least you didn't know what the fuck they were until later. Wow. Yeah, I'll pay the thousand ore for this. That seems like a bit much. But all right. We still don't have any spirits. We still don't have any spirits. It's actually kind of shocking. Unless you're a spirit. No, you're a book set. Which is a key item. Which I can do nothing with. Okay. Interesting. Did someone lose their books, I wonder? And is it our job to make them happy again? Hello. Wolfgang. Oh, do I have to get the gang back together? Because that'd be kind of cool. You startled me. Didn't you see I was practic practicing my music? Hmm. You aren't from around here, are you? It's soothing to see new survivors going about. You can call me Wolfgang. Ever since I came to the city, I cannot stop thinking about the city's temple. Something about, something about it calls me. They say it was once home to a god named Nuos. Well, Nuos wants me here, so... Um, do you think that's really true? I'm not from these parts, either. You see, I come from Rust Village. What? Have you never heard of Rust Village? You are weird indeed. You see, since the awful incident with the Palel, I decided to become a solo player. So I must practice now. Okay, so I need to talk to all these fucking musicians and get them to stop being assholes to each other, and then I'll get something cool, probably. So that's kind of neat. This opens from something. Another book set. All right, it seems like we're on a... We're part of a side quest that we don't know about yet. Um, we 
could go in here. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, these doors aren't real. What is a door, really? Oh. All right, before I talk, to, I wonder if this guy wants some books. I fucking wonder. Oh my god, he had a tiny chest on his... That's awesome, actually. I really appreciate that. Nothing. Hey, buddy. Mork, the bookkeeper. My name is Mork. I'm a librarian and a merchant by blood. Descendant of the ancient Morkos family. I collect books and objects and harness the knowledge hidden within. As a matter of fact, to celebrate our new acquaintance, if you bring me five books, I will give you a valuable reward. Tell me now, are you interested in trading with me? Sell? Oh, is that what these are for? Because these are worth a, a lot. I have 13 of these? Okay, we're not going to sell anything until we know for a goddamn fact huh? that we can't use them for anything else. Huh? Huh. Uh, we need to have five books. Okay. Alright. Holy shit, this one's good. Doubles the amount of collected ore. Lifesteal. Larger pouch. Oh, fuck, that's right. We're limited to $29.99 for our pouch for, for reasons. Okay. We need to make sure we don't need those for anything else. Interesting. Why does everyone have a toxic fucking... Oh, I guess this one doesn't hurt me. Oh, my... I'm under the, the desk and I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Oh, well, that's an oversight. Okay, so we have, what, two books? Need three more. Sorry, what was that, Trike? That expensive stuff earlier we couldn't get even if we did grind. We could. We could have grinded, I think. To, there's nothing stopping us. I just figured uh, I'd let that guy rip me off because it seems like it's part of the game. Or at least I don't want to grind on stream for something that stupid. When I know we'll get a lot more money later, right? Oh, well that was... a. That switch actually makes sense. It's directly next to the thing it opens. <laughs> As opposed to being across the room, which would be just a pain in the ass. Wait a minute. Ah, shortcut. Hey, I didn't see this one coming. Good job, game. You normally can see them coming a mile away, but this is actually a decent shortcut. All right. Can't buy something for 5,000 more if you only... Oh... Didn't he want 2,400 ore, though? He wanted 2,400. And now we owe him 4,800. We could have... We could have actually collected the 24. I'm pretty sure. I th I, if I'm remembering correctly, we could have grabbed that for him. Which would have been really obnoxious. There was a shop? I'll have to... Are you talking about the... The book guy? The shop. Way long ago. God, I've forgotten already. Jesus, that's not... If I'm forgetting shopkeepers, this isn't going to be a very good run for me. Oh, hello. I didn't think I was anywhere new. Which goes to show I'm a little... I think I'm a little bit tired. Also, there's leaves falling through this house. Hey, friend. Oh, it's Orip. Hey, how's my favorite elevator nautic? How do I go with the uh, elevators? They really are awesome, don't you think? Oh, and by the way, I have something in my possession that may interest you, but you owe me ore, remember? I haven't forgotten. You ready to pay me now? No, I thought we were friends, traitor. <laughs> you can't trust anyone anymore. You can go. Sigh. All right, we, we should probably we should probably get him his fucking money. 
Um. <laughs> spirits. Oh, right, the spirit seller. Yes. Oh god, my legs. Fall damage just doesn't seem right in this game. It doesn't seem like it's a, a good part of the game. Oh, well, sorry. Um, it's not bad. It, it, it barely impacts the gameplay. It's more of like a flavor thing. But I just feel like it doesn't need to be in the game at all. Especially considering there are there are pits, or sorry, there are death pools that you touch more often than anything else when you fall. Seems a little out of place. That's all. Not a huge critique. Another book. I think we only need one more. Also, getting out of this place kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. Abandoned path. Oh, I'm fucking close. Oh. There we go. May as well heal. Yeah, let's do it. I'm trying to remember how much the spirit seller was actually selling spirits for. What, did he sell anything over three thousand? Over uh, yeah, three thousand or above. Sorry, I got something in my. Eye. He did for sure. Okay, yeah, I've, I've already forgotten. That's my bad. Where am I going? Oh, I'm I'm uh, I'm not being able to do this yet. Is what I'm doing. Gotcha. Don't have double jump, don't have wall jump, don't have roll run. It's not gonna happen. I probably wasn't even supposed to be able to get here easily. Like, that's, that's a tough jump. Okay, so, let me do another once over in case I miss somebody. I swear to God, somebody said something about weapons. But then I didn't see any weapons, so. Oh, uh, that's not gonna work. Oh yeah, supposed to do something up there. Oh, but I need, I think, okay, I think I'm just gonna go this way. I think we have to go this way. We might learn double jump or whatever they want. Or it might be a fucking dead end, who knows? It needs a graveyard key. We do not have a graveyard key. So the abandoned path is actually a graveyard. I don't know why anyone would call it an abandoned path when it's a fucking graveyard. It seems a little out of place. Or it just seems like a weird choice of words. Like, don't go there, it's uh, it's nothing. Don't Don't investigate it, don't worry about it. Fine. Okay. Um. I actually made that jump. Huh. Well, may as well rest. I kind of want to assume that the ore is just for selling. Like, I don't want to... We seem to be getting it everywhere. But, ah, it's a really hard call to make. Oh. This guy just wanted money, right? He just wants money. The, the rainbow one's 5,000, so we can't actually get that yet. No, no, back, back out, back out, back out, back out. Back out, thank you. He wouldn't let me leave. Also, I mean, we are really cutting through the world a lot, huh? Oh, there we go. Holy shit. That's a good view. That's a good view through the world. So we had nothing else up there. How many books do we have? We have four. We might not actually be able to finish that. Unless... what What is going on over here? Not 
quite. Can I can I jump up on this? No. That's probably another cellar in that in that room. So we need to get up there, but we definitely can't get up there as we are. The graveyard's uh, broken. Or not, fuck. The graveyard's locked. Shit's locked. I guess we'll go this way? Maybe this is the temple. And maybe this is where we get an ability to help us through all this shit. I completely missed what the area zone said. Does it say anywhere? No. We're somewhere. I was I was looking away for just like half a second. It's pointing out. I think we're in the forest temple. I'd have I'd have to assume at this point. Oh hey, it's Nuos. Fierce warrior who travels swiftly through the endless night. You have come. Alas, the corruption has already spread throughout my temple, and my power is dim. Warrior of the Night. Inside my temple, there is a powerful gauntlet. One I crafted myself a long time ago. In this time of despair, as shadows surround my last breath, I ask of you, warrior. Make headway deep into my grotto. Find the claws. And with its power, destroy the shadows, overpowering my soul. So is the gauntlet the claws, or are those two different things? Because I'd like as many upgrades as I can get. I am greedy for upgrades. Uh, we, got a, we got the achievement, we showed up, basically. I really like the, uh, the dash up, even if I'm failing at it. Also, it seems like if you hit someone, you actually get your dash back. So that's cool. As long as you make contact with something, uh, the ground or an enemy or otherwise, you get to do a double jump or a dash. Or both, maybe, actually. The void. Oh, did you look it up for me? Thank you. I appreciate that. So I'm not going to sell the void ore. It seems like it's meant for selling, but it's just so hard to tell. Because in most games, when you find a fucking diamond, are you gonna sell it? Probably not. Not unless it's in a junk or sellable section or some shit. Change the water level? Yeah? We can't swim, so having it lower seems better in general. So we can jump down there now if we wanted to. Not that we really explored much. We walked in and went right. <laughs> oh, I mean, I gotta, I gotta just like go down here. Oh, I am not able to double jump, but I can't dash again. That's kind of fun. I like that. Requires a little tiny bit of finesse. I'm sure the enemies, well, I assume the enemies will get tougher. Oh, that guy's just an ass. I'm not even gonna bother with him. How, how many minutes to mimic? That might make a good video series. The entire the entire point of the game is uh, the entire point of the video for every game is how many mim minutes until mimic. I'm pretty sure there's another there are, there are similar series out there like that that um, like how many minutes to ah, fuck. There's a famous one that I'm just forgetting about entirely. Oh, well, I fucked that up. 
Let's, um... I don't get why these ones are blank. It's kind of strange. I don't know if I need to do the full emote or what for it to count, but... They haven't, they haven't let us do one yet, so I, I don't know anything about it, to be honest. Oh, God. Thought he'd stun a little bit, but he didn't. You know what sucks? Is those bubbles are just, or those items are just going to a place I can't follow. I don't know how long they stay, either. So either they're gone forever, or they're just waiting for me. Oh wait, I have fireballs. Excuse me? That's a that's a fireball? That's a weird kind of fireball. I don't know if I'd call that a fireball. It's more like just telekinesis. I'm just smacking them. Seems like I want to be able to run up these walls or something. Oh no, my money. Um. Well, I don't think this is the way I need to be. I mean, I can't do that yet, so I don't know where we're going there. Hmm. There's a, sp there's a spirit there. I guess we can drop down onto this. There we go. Something. Okay, progress. Where was this anyway? I don't remember. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, progress and yet. I don't have the key for this. Oh, I do have. I'm. I'm dumb. I don't. I didn't even realize I picked up the key. I'm glad I checked. Does the shield prevent fall damage? Good question. I can't activate the shield in the air, so no. I would assume. Where we are. I don't really mind that you pick up money, or sorry, uh, e e fire essence. You, you pick up fire essence kind of randomly. You don't get it through fighting enemies, it's just like a collectible. So you can't really farm it. Well, you can, but you'd have to keep reloading the zone. Oh no. Being locked in. With these guys. Having some- oh, he was already dead. Well, that guy hits pretty hard, actually. But he does have basically the same moves as the first enemy we fought. What do we win? A key. Kind of predictable at that point. We had nowhere else to go. Ooh, should we go left or right? That's the biggest decision of the night. Guess we'll go right. Oh, this needs a holy key. Okay. How was I supposed to know that by looking at the door? That's odd. Oh well. Ooh, another arena. But this time, we can't fall off the sides. Or we can fall off the sides. Hitting you with telekinesis. Oh. Wow, he hits fucking hard. Oh my god. I need to actually pay attention to these guys. They hit quick and they hit hard. 